registration for AIPP Summit. Make a left. Thank you. Thank you. For AIPP Summit, Marriott Hall and the Salons 2 and 3. Hi, this is Monique Altheim from eDiscovery Map. We are at the 2010 Global Privacy Summit in Washington, D.C. With me is Bob Rothman, President of Privacy Associates International. Bob, how will standard model clause agreements for cross-border personal data transfer from EU countries change after May 15? Well, Monique, the controller-to-controller -controller agreements aren't going to change at all. But the controller to processor agreements are going to change in several ways and I think generally positive ways. Previously, if a controller in an EU country engaged a processor outside the EU to process uh, EU information, and that processor engaged one subprocessor or a series of subprocessors. The situation was a little bit ambiguous, but from a technical standpoint, the controller really had to enter into standard clause controller to processor agreements with each of the subprocessors. That's changed. Going forward, the controller will only have to enter into a contract with the prime subcontractor outside the EU in an inadequate country. And the obligation then shifts onto the processor, the prime processor, and that processor has to include in his contracts with the subprocessors uh, basically the same obligations that are set forth in the standard contract. Each subprocessor has to do that, so it winds up almost a daisy chain of agreements. Um, there are some issues with it. For instance, the choice of law of the various contracts is supposed to be the choice of law of the country of the data controller. I think that's going to, in practice, be very difficult for some of the smaller processors to do. They simply may not have the bargaining power. So if there's a contract between an Indiana processor and an Iowa processor, and the information originally came from a controller in Germany, that Indiana-Iowa contract is supposed to be governed by German law. Is that going to happen? Uh, I think it's unlikely to happen. So I think that's a problem. Another. Uh, I, from the standpoint, I think, of most companies, good thing is that uh, the mandatory arbitration has, uh, has been eliminated. And I think another good thing is that you can put in this contract other commercial terms as long as they don't vary the standard clauses. So if one wants, one can have a single contract with commercial terms and with uh, privacy terms. And if this contract gets called for by a government authority, the commercial terms can be redacted. Thank you, Bob.